Thanks to F-16 fighters, Ukraine will be able to strengthen control over the Black Sea. After Ukrainian attacks on the Russian fleet in occupied Crimea, Russia began to lose its advantage in the Black Sea. But after receiving the F-16, Ukraine will be able to strengthen its control over the Black Sea. Ukrainian Navy Commander Oleksiy Nizpapa said this in an interview with Reuters. According to Nizpapa, Russia is shifting to defensive tactics at sea. Warships are increasingly based in the Sea of Azov to avoid attacks from Ukraine. In particular, monitoring data collected by the Ukrainian Navy and provided to Reuters showed that as of June the 27th, there were 10 Russian warships in the Sea of Azov. At the same time, no ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet were recorded in the Azov Sea during the same period last year. The Ukrainian Navy commander explained that the Black Sea Fleet is now mainly used for logistics, small-scale control of coastal areas, and for strikes against Ukraine with caliber cruise missiles. Nizpapa said that Russian warships do not enter the northwestern part of the Black Sea, an area of almost 25,000 square kilometers. According to him, the F-16 fighters in service with the Ukrainian armed forces will allow them to challenge Russia's complete dominance in the skies over the Black Sea. Nizpapa emphasized that Ukraine would like to expand its shipping corridor to include the ports of Mykolaiv and Kherson. Currently, it only includes shipping from the three main ports of Odessa. According to him, civilian vessels are escorted by patrol boats in some areas to protect them from mines, and air defense provides cover for both ports and corridors. Recall that Air Force spokesman Ilya Yevlash said that Ukraine is taking all necessary measures to ensure the effective operation and deployment of F-16 fighters on its territory. Ukraine destroys Russian missiles with air defense systems that the U.S. abandoned. The Ukrainians are using an American-made air defense system that the United States decommissioned more than two decades ago to successfully shoot down Russian cruise missiles. As Business Insider reports, the weapon in question is the MIM-23 Hawk, a medium-range surface-to-air missile system that was first used in the 1960s and was long considered obsolete. The military favored more portable systems, but the weapon has found new life in Ukraine, proving that after all these years, it is still a useful tool. A Ukrainian military officer who operates the Hawk system said that while the weapon is not new, it is effective in the right hands. He has scored more than two dozen successful hits, including against Russian KH-59 cruise missiles and Iranian-made Shahed attack drones. Soldier Alexander said the Shahed drones are the most annoying because they fly very slowly, making it tiring to fight them for a long time. It's much easier to work with missiles, even when they're aimed at you. It was a bit awkward when three KH-59 missiles were flying straight at us, constantly changing altitude. But all the targets were detected and destroyed one after another, he said. The main secret is not even in the weapons we work with, but in the synchronous and coordinated work of the unit. We understand perfectly well the risks and consequences if we do not listen or ignore each other, he said. The Hawk system was deployed around the world during its four decades of service with the US military. It saw combat in the Middle East. However, in the 1990s, after the end of the Cold War, the air threat to American forces changed. The Hawk was retired and replaced by other systems, such as the FIM-92 Stinger and Avenger. The skies were also covered with the MIM-104 Patriot. While the US no longer uses the Hawk, several countries still operate it, as well as its many variants, including Spain, which first sent several launchers to Ukraine in October 2022. Since then, the Biden administration has donated an unspecified number of Hawk systems and munitions to Kyiv and has committed to purchasing more for the country in the long term. Ukrainian officials regularly press the United States and its NATO allies to boost their air defense capabilities to combat the Russian threat. Although the Hawk is an aging system, it still helps plug important gaps in the skies. The Hawk is not the only 1960s-era weapon to have found success in Ukraine. German-made Gepard cannons have also proven highly effective at shooting down Russian drones and cruise missiles at low altitudes. Earlier, Prime Minister Denis Shmihal stated that Ukraine will receive air defense systems and missiles for them. They will be provided by the United States and eight other European countries. International partners heard us. 
we were able to convince them that strengthening Ukraine's air defense is the top priority. As a result, we have concrete results of the work of both the president and the entire Ukrainian team in recent times. The Prime Minister noted 